Hi everyone, this is Terry Honeycutt, owner and designer with MyPhotoBorders.com. Today I'm going to go over one of the new designs that we just released, and this one's called Game On. It's a very unique design, uh, which I think will go well with many players, different sports. Uh, I think you'll like it. So, with this design, uh, I actually have got the this design set up for two images. Um, if you decide you want to use one image, you can do that as well, but I'm going to show you how to use two images with this design. And we'll go ahead and get started with the uh, first image. We want to start with this layer that says um, drop top photo above here. So that's where our main image is going to be. And first thing you want to do is select this layer and then we want to drag our image over so it will actually go right above that layer. So let me go ahead and pull it up. I've got an image pre-selected and I'm going to drag this over. There we go. And we need to reposition it. So just click on the move tool and let's bring this image up a little bit and kind of center it. There we go. And if you notice one thing about this image here is it was actually it's cut off here at the bottom right below her belt. And so what we want to do is we actually want to fade that away. Even if you had a full length image, uh, you're still going to want to fade it away because um, you want it to fade away kind of up here in the center of the template so that when you drop your other image in, you don't want, you know, somebody's legs or anything being seen behind it. So the way we're going to fade this away is click on that layer that we just drug over. And down here at the bottom of the screen, you see this little um, box with the circle in it. That's a layer mask. So click on the layer mask. It's going to bring it up right here. And the way we're going to fade this away, the way I typically fade it away, is using a gradient tool. So I'm going to click on my gradient tool. And at the very top, make sure that your gradient is set to foreground to transparent. Okay. And with that being said, the uh, foreground should be black in color. All right, so once we have that set, I'm gonna come right below her belt, and I'm actually gonna hold my shift key down so I can constrain the uh, movement to a uh, vertical movement. So hold my shift key, and I'm gonna drag up with the mouse, and I'm just gonna gradually fade away so we can get rid of that hard line at the bottom. So that's pretty much it for the first image. Um, we may just want to bump her over a little bit and kind of center her there. There we go. Okay. So the second image, we want to come up a few layers here to where it says drop bottom photo above here. That's where our second image will go. And I'm going to drag, pull that image up and I'm going to drag it to the template. There we go. Okay, and same thing if you notice her feet's cut off, but that's okay. So what we're going to do here is we actually want to drag this image down. We want her feet and legs just to kind of fade off right behind this black shadow that I have at the bottom. So that's the whole idea is so that she kind of fades away behind there. And you also want to, you know, if you bring the image in and it's really large, this image you want to scale down quite a bit. Uh, so, so the person kind of fits between the numbers or actually you want them much smaller than the top image because the top image is going to be your main focus. Okay, so she's centered and that's pretty, it, pretty much it for dragging the layers over. Like I said, it's really simple and easy. Uh, the only thing at this point, if you want to change something would be like the background colors, uh, you know, depending on the the jersey colors of your player. So what I'm going to show you here is just the few color layers that's involved. And I usually start from the bottom and work up. So if we look at the very bottom, you'll see here's the background and then here's a color fill on top of the background. And right now I have it set to a kind of a purple bluish color. If I double click on this, it's going to bring it up. But let's say um, we don't want that color. We want to change it to something else. So you can either click on the slider here in the box, it doesn't matter, and you can see as I click, the background is going to gradually change. So let's say we don't want the purple, we want maybe the red, more of her jersey. 
uh, and you can kind of tone it down a little bit if you want, but let's say go with that for now. All right, and the next color is the floor, and I'm gonna double click on this box, and here you can change the floor to, um, like I say, whatever kind of tint you want, but I'm gonna go neutral with this, so let's kind of leave it a gray. All right, so the only thing I wanna do now maybe is bring in a little bit of this purple that, that she has in her jersey here. So maybe we'll do that with the, um, the overlays here. So I'm gonna take this overlay here, and this is the glow overlay. Actually, there's a glow kind of behind her back, and I'm gonna just pick some kind of purple. Let's bring it up a little bit more. All right, let's try that. And let's go here to the uh, next uh, color fills. And these are the edge glows. Um, they're actually right here left on the right side and the left side. So I'm gonna double click, bring up the edge glow. find a color that we're happy with. All right, so I'm gonna copy this code so that we can paste it in the next box. There we go. Okay, and then if you wanna come back and change the middle one again, you can. Okay, so that actually brings a little bit of purple out, a little bit of red out, and, um, and like I say, um, you, there's many layers involved here, so as you can see, there's a lot of smoke layers, there's a lot of um, the light flares, there's the text, so, you know, feel free to turn any of these layers on and off if you want to play around with it, if you want to try to move some around, uh, like I say, the, the template is very flexible um, and as you see it's it's really broken down in a, a lot of layers for you so that's it um, very simple to use if you have any questions uh, don't hesitate to give us a call or email me once again this is Terry at myphotoborders.com thank you and have a great day